Great. Now let's look at lists. So in the previous lecture, we were looking at strings and indexing and splitting strings. And now we'll be working with lists, which are very similar to strings. They are similar because they are both referred to as sequences. So they are sequences of items. The difference is that... Uh, let me open Python. And so the difference is that a string is made of other strings. So it can contain only strings, so characters or strings, whatever you uh, like to, to call it. However, a list can contain various other data types. Uh, let's say age, a letter, a number, and also a, a string. So uh, this is a string, the first one. This is a number, an integer. And uh, this is also a string with multiple characters. And that is a list. So for lists, you want to use square brackets to create a list. Execute. And yeah, you can call it. And so this is a list of three items. And you can also store other objects in a list, but we'll cover other objects in later uh, sections. Uh, you know, we have uh, table objects with lots of data. Uh, you may store files in a list. You may store widgets or for graphical user interface that you are building and so on. So lists are very useful. And lists also have indexing. And you can split lists, you can extract items and so on. And so the good news is that string, uh, lists have the same indexing system as strings. And so you learned that in the previous lecture. And you can go ahead and apply that system now. So let's extract number two. Uh, that would have an index of 1, execute that, and yeah, you get 2 there. Mm, if you check the type, you'll see that's an integer. So every item of a list has its own data type. You can also access more than one item of a list. Let's say one of the first two items, uh, you do 0, 1, 2, so like that, or 0 to 2, whatever you like, and that will produce another list. So the type of this split is a list. The type of the split of a string is a string. So S for the string here, C for the list. Lists now have methods associated with them, just like strings do. And so you can check what methods you have available there by just doing uh, dear uh, list. So list is the blueprint. You can use list. You can pass uh, empty square brackets in there. It's the same thing. And then you can use help to look at each of these methods. So these are the methods without the uh, underscore. And uh, let's look at the append method. So to apply a method, you do C the dot notation, append, and here I'll add 3. Well, what that does is it adds another item to the, end of, or to the end of the list. So it appends an item to the list. And you can explore the other methods if you like. So let's say help, remove, like that. And you'll see how to use that remove method. So uh, you do C remove and then you pass the value of the item that you want to remove, so not the index, but the value. Uh, let's say we want to remove 2, and you see that 2 is now gone from the list. So yeah, look at the other methods of the list and try to experiment with lists, and play around with them, access items and split them, and you'll be good to go then. Yeah, thanks. I'll talk to you later.